I'm gonna do my best to, to do this video with one hand here, uh, but I wanna show essentially what these siphon tubes do. Um, don't mind my chickens in the background, just talking all over the place. Um, but I wanted to show you these. I'm cleaning out my pans today. It's a beautiful sunny day and I kind of wanted to show um, why I use them. Uh, the I do believe they were one of the reasons why my last batch cooked as quickly as it did. It helped keep the temperature in both pans equal because these tubes were transferring uh, whichever had the higher level, which would have been the cooler one, to the lower level, which was the hotter one, and vice versa, keeping temperatures virtually the same. So the first thing you want to do with these is you want to tip them upside down, make sure they are completely submerged. There's no air bubbles coming out of them. So there's a few that came out there. But for the most part, you just want none coming out. And we're going to essentially time how long it takes. This is a five gallon pan. How long it takes to put two and a half gallons into there so once we tip it up here we put it in and there we go you can see it's already gushing out of that one gushing out of that one just balance them and then we'll just keep going here i'll have it i'll i'll run a timer and we'll see how long it takes but you'll see that it's lowering the level of this one and raising the level of that one both valves are closed, so nothing is exiting the pan except through those tubes, and uh, which this is good too because I had them soaking, both pans and my tubes soaking in vinegar water to help break down all the niter that kind of cooked on it. And uh, so I had that in those tubes. So I gotta rinse these tubes out, and this is the best way to actually rinse them, is um, let it flow clean water through to make sure they're rinsed for the next time I cook syrup. And uh, very easy to make if you know how to solder. It's pretty simple to do. Um, so yeah, each one has two elbows. The cap, um, it's not, as you can see, it's not the same size as the tubing. That's half inch and I think that's a three quarter inch tube. You could probably do a one inch cap as well, uh, but you want a little bit of a gap between the bottom of the cap and the bottom of the pipe so that water can get in there and that it just, uh, helps with the uh, with the air but you can still see we're still pushing pushing through there zoom in levels are getting there but uh i probably could get away with just one of these two just makes it more efficient um one is probably sufficient for what I do, but um, I bought the materials for two, so I made two. And this is actually good that I can see with the shadow there, so that I'll know for sure when that has finished. Hopefully my, hopefully my cement slab here that we're on is level, otherwise this won't work exactly the way it's supposed to, but and it's not a perfect science, but it gets it really close. I think we're done. I think that is equal there. So there you go. Now, for some reason, this one were to lower. Let's open up the valve. I'll drain water out of that. And you will see, it will start, there we go. Now it's backfilling, taking water from this side and putting it over here. Shut that off, and we'll see it fill up. Pretty, pretty cool and simple tech. So if you're doing a double pan setup like this, I do recommend you try to make one of these or have someone you know make them. It's well, thank you poppers, it's well worth the time and money.